Hello, my name is Jennifer Terry. I make Philippine travel guidelines. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to stay updated with the Philippine travel rules or requirements. In this video, we'll talk about who are considered to be fully vaccinated and what vaccination proof are accepted. So being fully vaccinated arriving passenger in the Philippines comes with privileges, okay? If you're fully vaccinated, first up is that you don't need to quarantine on arrival. So it means upon arrival, you get to the airport, just some verification process, and then you go home, straight to your home, to your final destination, you're free to go. While for foreign nationals starting February 16, no vax, no entry. Meaning, you need to be fully vaccinated to enter the Philippines as a foreign national. Sa mga Pilipino na nonood na unvaccinated, pwede bang umuwi? Yes. Kahit pa hindi bakunado, basta Pilipino, you can enter the Philippines. While there are certain exemptions for foreign nationals, we'll talk about that later. Let's start with who is considered to be fully vaccinated. So to be considered fully vaccinated, you must receive your second dose. If it's a two-series two shot, for example, Pfizer, AstraZeneca, Moderna, okay, Sinopharm, Sinovac. So these two series uh, vaccines, you need to get the two shots be to be considered to full. So for these two series shots, you need to have received the two um, doses to be considered fully vaccinated. It has to be two weeks after. So for example, you received your second shot of AstraZeneca on January 31. You are considered fully vaccinated by February 14. What if you travel before the two weeks gap? well, you will be considered partially vaccinated and will therefore quarantine in the hotel. Now, you don't want that, okay? So better to be two weeks after, okay, before arriving in the Philippines. While for the single shot, how about I only received one shot, Jennifer of J&J, &J, am I considered to be fully vaccinated? Yes, as long as it is two weeks after your first dose of J&J &J before arriving in the Philippines, okay? So you should just, uh, if you've been vaccinated months ago, then you have no worry. I have I have been fully vaccinated in 2020. Am I still considered fully vaccinated? Yes. Is booster shot required to be considered fully vaccinated? No. Okay. Booster shot as of right now is not needed. Okay. If you have the two shots, then you are fully vaccinated and you have two weeks. Um, the gap time, then you are fully vaccinated. All right, now with the vaccine brand. So there are many vaccine brands available. Well, the Philippines will accept vaccine brands that have received emergency use by the uh, Philippine FDA, Philippines Food and Drug Administration, vaccine brands with special permits, and those with emergency use listing by the World Health Organization. So three things, Philippines FDA, it has to be emergency use or special permit, and WHO emergency use. So these are the list of vaccine brands that are approved in the Philippines. So we have Pfizer, AstraZeneca, Sinovac, Sputnik, Janssen, Covaxin, Moderna, Sinopharm, Covovax, Novavax. Okay, so if you received any of these vaccines, you are considered to be fully vaccinated. For foreign nationals, okay, how about recently recovered Jennifer? Um, I am not vaccinated. I haven't received any shot or I only received one shot of Pfizer or AstraZeneca, but I have recently recovered from COVID. I have natural immunity. Am I considered to be fully vaccinated? No, okay? No, you need to get your vaccinations to be considered fully vaccinated. Being recently recovered does not give you the same privileges of those who are fully vaccinated. So if you are a foreign national who cannot be vaccinated, you may enter the Philippines. There are three exemptions. First up, for foreign nationals who are 18 years old below, you don't need to be fully vaccinated to enter the Philippines. However, if you are a foreign national, 12 years old, 17, years old, and you are unvaccinated, you may be able to enter, but you may have to quarantine. 
because in the Philippines, we are already vaccinating 12 years old and above. For the second exemption, which is for people who are medically unable to get vaccinated, you need to get a certificate by a competent public health authority in the country or your port of port origin, stating that you cannot be vaccinated for these reasons, blah, blah, blah. No, it has to be with a public health authority. Next up, and the last exemption we have is for diplomats and their dependents. No, they are exempted from this vaccination requirement. 9E visa holders. Now, let's go with the vaccination proof. This is very important, even if you're fully vaccinated. But if you don't have the accepted proof for that, then what's the... Well, you won't get the no zero hotel quarantine. So for those who are vaccinated in the Philippines, you have two options. You can present your Vaxert PH. You can access that online po, Vaxert PH, that, uh, on my online website. I'll just put it in the description box. While if you secure the BOQ ICV, yan, accepted din yan. For Filipinos or foreigners who are vaccinated in the Philippines, these are your two options, whether Vaxert PH or your BOQ ICV. Next up, for majority of you who are watching, you are vaccinated abroad, right? The first option is um, the National or State Digital Certificate of the Foreign Government, which has accepted Vaxert PH unless otherwise permitted by the IATF, or the WHO International Certificate of Vaccination or Prophylaxis. The first option is the one that's available to majority of you. Now, the vaccination card or certificate issued by your foreign governments, diba? These are the countries vaccination cards or certificates will be accepted in the Philippines. So, for example, if you are an American who is vaccinated in the U.S., your vaccination card or certificate, whether that's the national or state, will be accepted in the Philippines. So, that's good enough. For example, your white CDC card, that's enough. For those vaccinated in Australia, that Medicare vaccination card, enough na po. That's enough. I'll just mention the countries. So if you're vaccinated here, then the national vaccination certificate or card in that country, in these countries, are accepted. So, so no need to get the prophylaxis yellow card. Let's read it. Armenia, Austria, Canada, France, Germany, Japan, Kuwait, Oman, Singapore, Thailand, Turkey, United Kingdom, Colombia, Iraq, Monaco, Australia, Belgium, Czech Republic, Georgia, India, Kazakhstan, New Zealand, Samoa, Sri Lanka, the Netherlands, United Arab Emirates, United States of America, Italy, Tunisia, and Vietnam. For Filipinos. Ma'am, wala po sa list yung country ko. I was, nabakunahan po ako sa Saudi. Oh, nabakunahan po ako sa South Korea, ma'am. Wala, bakit po wala sa listahan yung country ko? Ibig sabihin ba, hindi ba tatanggapin yung vaccination proof ko? Kalma. Sa mga Pilipino dyan, um, as early as last year pa po, October 2021, um, Secretary of the Department of Transportation, Arthur P. Tugade, uh, he released a directive. And this was included in their IATF meeting. Na yung mga Pilipino po, na nabakunahan sa mga countries na walang reciprocity agreement na wala sa listan dito ay tatanggapin pa rin po yung vaccination card or certificate ninyo. According to the directive of Sir Arthur Tugade of the DOTR in their meeting then with the IATF, the national or state digital certificate of OFWs and your dependents, mga anak, asawa, kapamilya, and non-OFWs vaccinated abroad their vaccination certificate from the national or state governments where they were vaccinated will be accepted without the need of a reciprocity agreement. So kahit pa po nabakunahan kayo sa South Korea, sa Saudi Arabia, kahit walang agreement ang Pilipinas sa mga bansang iyan, tatanggapin pa rin po ang vaccination certificate or card ninyo kasi po Pilipino po kayo. While for foreigners... Foreigners who are watching this, your countries, your foreign governments where you were vaccinated should have a reciprocity agreement in the Philippines so that what you have there right now, your proof of vaccination will be accepted. So like if you're vaccinated in Belgium or in New Zealand, no problem. What you have right now is enough. 
while for foreigners who's vaccinated in countries that are not mentioned here in the reciprocity agreement not on these 30 countries well your option is to secure an international certificate of vaccination or prophylaxis this yellow card right here you need to secure it because according to the iatf resolution this is well you only have three options the vaxert ph which is only available to those vaccinated in the philippines your government's vaccination certificate but since you don't have a reciprocity agreement that cannot be used so the only option you have is the who international certificate of vaccination or prophylaxis i know of two ways to get this whether you go to your medical professional the clinic where you got vaccinated contact them and ask them if they have a yellow card to issue to you i know of some foreigners who already did it who already did this no but if let's say the doctor the medical clinic that uh, vaccinated you cannot issue it or will not issue it the other option is to secure the yellow card from buy it yeah buy it from bookstores buy it online uh, one foreigner reached out to me the other day the other uh, last night he was from brazil now brazil they don't use yellow card so I um, suggested to order from Amazon Brazil. They actually sell it. Now, when you receive the, cert the card, you can go to the medical professional and have it signed. Bring your vaccination card with you for the reference. Yes, this is, I know this is what needs to be done for us to have the accepted proof of vaccination. Now, there may be some leniency, but as of right now, maybe February 10, we will know more. But for those who will be traveling very soon, second week of February, for your peace of mind, for compliance purposes, I highly suggest to get a yellow card, a prophylaxis. Okay? If your country doesn't have reciprocity agreement in the Philippines, it may be a hassle, but it's a peace of mind and it's for compliance purposes. You've waited for this for so long to come to the Philippines. You don't really want to jeopardize your travel just for a single card, right? Now, we are encouraging, pushing the Philippines to please coordinate with more foreign governments with this reciprocity agreement. It would really, really be best if we can coordinate with more countries because getting an ICV can be a hassle for tourists too. More countries because as of now, there's only 30 countries in their reciprocity agreement list. Yeah, there needs to be more, especially on February 10, that we will be reopening our borders to the whole world. <laughs> this is all i hope it gave you an idea i hope it helped you i hope it gave people peace of mind let you know if there are any more countries added on the reciprocity agreements whether the philippines will be lenient in accepting vaccination proof we will know more for sure for the following day especially after february 10 so i'll see you with another update please like this video and share it to anyone who will be traveling soon stay safe po kayo and god bless bye